hi guys and welcome to another video in this tutorial i will show you how to cut and sew this trendy eye low gathered skirt with basque detail i also showed my simple method for drafting a skirt pattern and how to sew a bandless waist with facing so watch till the end because you're definitely going to get value from this one Let's start by drafting a basic skirt pattern. You can draft on paper like I'm about to or straight on fabric. If you want to work with fabric, please make sure your fabric is on fold. So I ruled a 1 inch borderline at the top of the paper and I will draft the front and the back together. Then trace out one side when I am done. And if you are cutting on fabric, I will explain how to cut it as we go. First of all, Mark your zip allowance along the edge of the paper. I usually use one inch, so mark that all the way and roll down. Then mark the length of the skirt. I marked my waist to mid length for this one and also roll across. Okay, next, mark your waist to hip, then waist to breaking point, which is 17 inches, and then mark your waist to knee and roll all of these points horizontally so this is the waist this is the hip this is the breaking point the knee and the hem now let's impute our horizontal measurement starting with the waist my waist is 28 inches 28 divided by 4 equals 7 plus my sewing allowance Please note that you are taking all measurements from the zip line, not the edge of the paper. Next, mark your hip measurement divided by 4 plus your sewing allowance on the hip line. Measure what you have on the hip line, including the sewing allowance, and subtract 2. This is what you mark on the breaking point line. I have 11.5 on the hip minus 2 equals 9.5 and I'll mark that here now transfer that exact measurement to the knee and the hip line now connect from the waist to hip then to the breaking point and hem so now your skirt pattern is ready but let me show you how to contour the pattern for a defined bomb illusion we will completely eliminate the zip allowance around here to contour this skirt pattern. So, extend all horizontal measurements to the zip allowance. Note that you are contouring only the back pattern. I'm using a different color pencil so that you don't get confused. Using your curved ruler, connect from the waist to the hip along where you have the zip allowance and also from the breaking point line connect upward to the hip line i hope you're following so now we need to add the zip allowance that we just eliminated back to the side of the skirt if we don't do this the front and the back pattern will be the same thing and we won't have any allowance to accommodate the zip except you want to install the zip on the side of the skirt before proceeding i'll sharply lower the front waistline to follow the tummy curve just mark 0.5 inches down from here and connect back to the side of the skirt On the side of the skirt, mark your 1 inch zip allowance and connect to the hip. And at the hem of your pattern, mark your zip allowance up to the breaking point and blend it back to the hip as shown. So when you finish, Trace the back pattern first. So you trace from the waist like this, then to the side, 
all the way to the hem. Just follow my hand. You won't be tracing the zip allowance with the back. So just trace as shown. At this point, if you are drafting on fabric, cut the back first, separate the pieces and now cut the front because if you cut the front first, you would have eliminated the back with it. So for those drafting on paper, you can fold the paper this way if you have enough space or trace on fresh paper. So just watch as I trace the back and see why using the using a different color for the back makes sense. Remember that you don't need to trace the zip allowance here anymore. You can also trace all the horizontal measurements as this will help to locate the points when joining. Define, define the lines you have just traced and cut out the back. If you're drafting on fabric, then you should have cut out the back at this point because you don't need to trace or define any lines. Indicate the parts you will sew the zip on and the side of the skirt because this can get confusing. For the front, just cut out all the extra markings you made to draft the back. So cut through the half inch you marked down at the center front and then cut out the zip allowance added here. I marked up the hip line of the front and the back together and taped. So this is to cut the back part. I marked one inch down from the hip line. You can skip this step if you wish because the back, because the back shape can be higher or lower at the side of the skirt. It depends on the shape you desire. So at the center front, I marked 5 inches down from the waist. Again, you can go lower or higher. Then go to the back and mark the same thing. And use your curved ruler or free hand to connect from that point to the hip. The reason I taped this part is to ensure that I am cutting at the same point. That will make it easy to match up the sides when I am sewing. So this is the front and the back. You will cut two pieces of the back because you will install a zip and the front you cut and fold as usual. Um, my waist to midi length is 29 inches and after cutting out the back and measuring the center front I had 22 inches. So that 22 inches will be the length of here. That is the high part of the skirt. And this will be my waist to floor or whatever you desire this length to be. Okay, so this side will be, for me, will be 20, 44 inches. And this side will be 22 inches. So to get the length of the low side, measure this side of your basque. Subtract it from your waist to floor measurement. So I have 10 inches here. Okay, so my waist to floor is 44 inches minus 10 that equals 34 inches okay let's calculate the radius of the play that we will be gathering first measure this part of your skirt pattern bear in mind that this is just half of your skirt so multiply whatever you measured by 2 here i have 26 
26 times 2 equals 52. Now we need to increase this figure in order for us to have something to gather. So you can multiply by 2 or 2.5 or 3 depending on the amount of fabric you have. So 52 times 2 is 104. To get the first radius, divide 104 by 4, which is equal to 26. So 26 or whatever you arrive at is your radius. That was a lot of multiplying and dividing, but I hope we all got the calculation. So mark out the radius from the top edge of the fold, you know, which is 26 inches from my calculation. But from for the sake of this demonstration, we're just going to mark 1.5 and then connect all the points. Now from here, mark the length of the part of your skirt that will be high, which is 26 inches. So mark that all round. Let me just use 3 inches as we're working with a very small paper. So you will have, so now after marking that, you will now eyeball the middle of the paper. Let's assume that it's somewhere around here. So from this, from this middle, gradually increase it, in, gradually increase to the length that you want for the low side. So assuming I want to use 5 inches, I'll mark, like from here, I'll mark 3.2 mark 3.5, mark 4.2, 4. Point something like that, like that, till I get to 5 inches. Then, connect all the points. Now, mind you, it won't be a straight curve because it's just to serve as it's just to serve as a guideline so try to blend it but don't worry if you can't like touch each point that you marked so what i explained is exactly what i have marked on this fabric that you're looking at right now now go ahead and cut and you have to do this And you have this when you open it up. This is the back, the front, and the side. When sewing, the first thing to do is to join the side of the front and the back together. Okay, after sewing, take the measurement you have here at the hem. So mine is 49.5 inches. I used the fabric to cut like a self lining for the upper side. So it can hold the weight of the gathers better without wearing it out. So I'll now gather this high low flea back to 49 inches and join and to attach the flay to the bust match the middle of the upper skirt and the gathered flay and then pin all the sides round and sew after sewing the next thing to do is to fix your zip make sure that here aligns at the zip part because it makes your work look professional remember ignoring all these little details is what make your garment look home soon measure the waist part of your skirt and measuring right from the zip allowance And I have 35.3 inches. So this measurement is what I used to cut the band. 
fold the fabric of the band and mark half of the waist measurement on it. Mine, after dividing by two, I arrived at 17 point something. I just approximated to 18. So I marked 3.5 for the width of the band and cut it out. Next, iron stay onto the band, pin it to the skirt and sew. After sewing, make sure to turn it over and back stitch. Okay, this is something else that you do that makes your garment look very very well sewn and professional. Fold it in as shown and hem by hand to the skirt. So this is how I finish my bandless skirt neatly. Please like, share and subscribe if you learned something from this tutorial. Also drop your questions and suggestions in the comments. Thank you and see you next time.